Hi Pisces, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your November 1st to the 15th, 2021 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will be listed and linked in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into the safe and loving space. Let's let the bowl sing as we see what the tarot has to say. Pisces, November 1st to the 15th, 2021. Pisces, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides angels and spirit guides show me clearly at the bottom is our root itself the left-hand side is our inner self, the middle, our heart, our emotional self, the right-hand side, the public arena, the public self. So let's see what the cards have to say. We have the magician as above, so below, as we believe it, so it becomes. And we're also starting to claim our power and what we really desire from life. And we have the sun. So that's absolutely a brilliant combination. The sun is the happiest card in the whole entire deck. So that's a really great route. We have the shaman here, which is the equivalent to the hangman. We see things so differently. It, this is the hangman in the Rider Waite Smith. We see things so differently than everybody else that we can think we're wrong unless we start to realize that we're being guided. You know, we're being guided towards something greater, something in alignment for us. And this isn't saying if we see things differently than other people and it's bringing us anxiety and anger and stress and, and chaos, that that's the road we should be walking down. What Spirit is saying here and trying to make very clear that when we see things differently and it's bringing us peace, it's bringing us harmony, it's coming from a place of love and acceptance and caring and compassion, that's going to be the game changer. And that's going to be the road that we need to follow. It moves us then to the eight of earth. And this is our hard work paying off. So that's really quite beautiful. This is what we've been building towards. Then we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy coming through. If we have Taurus within our natal chart, that's coming through very powerfully at our heart and we're having the seven of cups we're starting to realize our dreams we're starting to open ourselves up to our dreams and what we desire the seven of swords we're learning that we can't take everything with us though there is going to be something from it's going to be from childhood but it's going to be our child childhood self it's going to be our inner child that's going to want to carry this with us and going to say but i can't leave this behind it's like what is my life if i don't have this scar you know if i don't have this pain if i don't have this hurt and that sounds like a broken thing to say but a lot of times we carry with us things that are astoundingly broken through coping through ill-gotten coping mechanisms that we've developed when we were very little you know we're we're going to think oh i need to hold on for, to this for one reason or another like it'll make me stronger if i can face this or you know that person was was saying those nasty things to me so that i could push through and i could get to where i need to be and no it was it was to scar us and it, it did scar us so just be be mindful about that in the boundaries that we we need to set now i said the seven of swords and i yeah so here with the Six of Swords, it's like be very mindful and also understand that we're moving forward. We're moving forward to 
where we need to be to where we want to be. But there is that sense of that inner child, you know, being huddled up in there, being needing to be protected. And we're carrying that with us. So there's something here that that needs to come to the surface. And it's going to be something that either is just going to be, it could be really painful for us. We could need to talk to a spiritual advisor or a professional to help this this pain come out and even doing hypnosis or, or something to that effect, EMDR, you know, to let this this pain come forward. That could be astoundingly beneficial for us, but it's also going to be the, the need to embrace our emotions and to do so mentally and, and personally. The Queen of Wands comes through with Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So if we have Fire Sign Energy within our natal chart or we're born on the cusp with Aries, that's coming through very powerfully in the public arena. And this is a sense of, I'm a warrior. You know, I'm a warrior. I'm going after what I want. I'm fiery. I'm passionate. I'm determined. I'm focused. I'm insightful. And I'm going to get there in a way that other people don't think of as as powerful or profitable or don't think of as as the right way yet it's the right way for me so it's it's kind of like telling people back off and stop judging <laughs> so that's going to be really cool let's see our energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading Ooh. okay those two those two right there spirits like stop these two okay there we go <laughs> oh that's hysterical oh my gosh pisces we have the moon which is Pisces energy. I didn't even see what these cards were when spirit was like, stop. And then we have the queen of cups, which is water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So we have the statement here, get out of your own way, get out of your own head. We're going to have a tendency to fall back on fear. Why? Because that's where the moon brings us. And that's actually one of the things that Pisces has as a kind of a life goal to, to move past fear and to see things in a balanced, emotionally harmonizing way. We're also going to have a tendency to to lean into the fear. We're going to have a tendency, and I left because Spirit's saying, you know, be mindful of fear, be mindful of fear, and yet we're going to kind of seek out the fear. We're going to listen to people who we know are going to make us upset or are going to, you know, talk about really negative things or, you know, just kind of bring us down. So that's going to be something we have to be mindful of. And we're also going to have this tendency to embrace people who who are emotionally just a bit manipulative. So do be mindful of that during this time. It then moves us to our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. And this one you have two also. You have universal light, which is the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. And then we have holistic health, which is absolutely one of my favorite cards. So the universal light comes in, we're shining, we're radiant, we're, we're, we're really moving forward in a loveliness. And then holistic health says, who are you holistically? Who is your authentic, holistic, you know, powerful self? How do we step into our power? But also how do we take care of our bodies? How do we take care of our souls? How do we move ourselves forward to the place that we need to be? And how do we open up that door to what we truly desire within our lives? This is listening to our bodies. This is drinking enough water. This is getting enough sleep. This is connecting with the earth, barefoot shoes. I'm a huge fan of, I do know that people say with running with barefoot shoes, but it does take up to a year or better to drop the Achilles and be able to have that sort of impact. So do be mindful of that during this time that we might want to rush into something that sounds really good for us and is is touted to be really good, but we might have to take our time with it because our bodies need to develop that way, need to strengthen that way. This is taking our vitamins. This is also getting the nu nutrients and the nourishment that we need. I have just discovered cauliflower rice and as a personal hater of cauliflower, I thought I was going to absolutely despise it. But you know what? If you put it in a burrito and you put everything else with it and you make it nice and spicy, that stuff is not that bad. So we could be finding ways to get more veggies into our diet and to really help our bodies and, and ourselves move forward. So holistically, it's, it's getting in tuned with us. That's going to be really powerful. It moves us to the magician as above. So below as we believe it. So it becomes, I love stating that when the magician comes up, because I think it's such a beautiful statement. I think it's such a beautiful thing to be reminded of that our mind has power. So so for, so often, there we go. So often we just think, we just let thoughts tumble through our heads like, you know, like like chaos. And we think, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm just thinking about this or I'm, I'm, I'm reading this and it's rather negative and downing. And then I'm watching that and it's rather negative or, or 
bloody or or chaotic and it's okay it's just entertainment but spirit is saying here what we put into our minds what we put into our minds moves into our world and we have to be very mindful especially during this time what we're calling forward because emotionally we're astoundingly connected you know we are astoundingly connected to what we are bringing forward within our lives and the way that we want to move forward in our lives and what we de desire and develop we're standing before the altar of our existence meaning we're starting to claim our power we're starting to claim ourselves we're starting to see ourselves in a very real way and as above so below as you believe it so you become as you claim these the elemental gifts before you as we claim our grounding to the earth as we claim the power of our voice as we claim the the fire within our soul as we claim the emotions that guide us and that's going to be really really important to just be mindful of our mind be mindful of our thoughts stepping into our thoughts stepping into our power stepping into ourselves it actually brings us radiance it brings us passion and insight and ideas and determination and focus and and brilliance really guiding us to the next level really calling forward beauty now will people take us by eyes absolutely will they tell us we're being cocky and you know full of ourselves yeah they will they'll be saying you know what makes you think that you could be so special or what makes you think that you can be happy i'm suffering i'm angry you know i want to pull you down and they can try and they will but they don't get to succeed because we get to have our lives too. And we get to start saying, I'm going to focus on different things. I'm going to start raising me up instead of as the world so wants to do, pulling us down. And it moves us to the shaman. It moves us to this place where we actually start to see this power within us. We start to turn inward. You see how he's blindfolded. He's not seeing the rest of the world. He's seeing himself. He's seeing into himself. And he's also seeing the spirit world. He's seeing so much more than we could ever realize. And as we're embracing this, as we're embracing this deeper journey into ourselves, as we're embracing the rhythm of our development and our insight and our ideas and our passion and our courage forward, we start to see the world differently because we start to connect with ourselves differently. That's why, that's why I repeated so many times as above, so below, and I'm repeating it again. So <laughs> Sorry for that. It must, it might get annoying, but it's here. It's like, as we call it into our existence, as we start to visualize it within the, the realm of our comprehension, which is our mind, we start to connect with the spirit world differently. We start to connect with ourselves differently. We start to move forward in passion and insight and ideas. And we start to see what we've been working towards. Now, the funny thing with the eight of earth, the eight of pentacles, you know, I've always seen this as what I work towards, like what I dedicate my 10,000 hours to, I will become an expert at. But spirit is also now showing that it can be rather abstract. So it can be things that have been trials and tribulations along our way within our path of life. You know, the sense of I've put in the time, I've put in the effort, I've, I've done what I needed to do. And now I'm starting to see the, the passion, the determination, and the focus of me. I'm starting to see that I have changed. And it's because we've had to face people who tried to rip us down. We've been told that we were nothing. We've, you know, had people mock us or doubt us and make us even fear ourselves. And now we're starting to say, no, you know, I get to have a path of beauty. I get to have a path of prosperity. Or I start to embrace the power of my voice. You know, I'm worth listening to. I'm worth connecting with and that starts to change things because we're sending out this energy now of being present of being powerful of being purposeful and that's what makes our hearts this beautiful you know hierophant this beautiful pope you know this is the pope in the rider waite smith deck and in medieval times you know the pope was the person who could tell emperors and kings what to do so he was like the top cheese right here we have talison and talison in in Celtic mythology was the greatest of all the bards was the greatest of of all men you know pretty much and so we're being told here that we are embracing at our hearts greatness if we can embrace the power of our voice the purpose of our wisdom the determination of ourselves if we can focus ourselves we have the magician we're standing before the altar of our existence right we're calling forward our power we're learning more about of our, about ourselves we're embracing ourselves as we embrace our earth and then we start to see that there's power within us and in more we start to feel it we start to believe it. it emotionally guides us forward and it brings us to the seven of cups it brings us to our dreams it brings us to our insights it brings us to our ideas it starts to have us seeing us more and more and more but it also has us seeing what we've buried away what we think oh, i'm too old for this you know i could never 
move forward in what I need, what I want, what I desire within my life. And now Spirit's saying, instead of taking our dreams and looking at them on special occasions where when we're feeling down or, you know, to give us that energy boost or special occasions where we start to think like, oh yeah, I can do anything. And we bring our dreams out again. And it's like, yeah, yeah, but that later. Now we're starting to say, well, why not? Why not move forward towards this? Why not embrace this passion? Why not go after this? And it moves us to the Seven of Swords again. We have to take our mind and get out of our own way. We're going to be taking everything that we learned, everything that we've developed and moving forward with it. But there is still the sense of taking some things that are not necessary for us. We need to leave some things behind. And yet we're going to think, oh no, I can't leave that behind because that's, that's important. And I can't forget that because if I do, you know, I'll miss that lesson. And Spirit's saying here, no, the path forward is a lot easier than we're going to mentally make it out to be. We're actually going to put a lot more on us than we need to. So do be mindful of that because the queen of wands is embracing her passion embracing her desire i always see the queen of wands or very often see the queen of wands as hestia in greek mythology the one who walked away from the title of olympian walked away from being one of the main goddesses to keep peace within the world and to you know still embrace what she loved she didn't need to be worshipped by everybody she didn't need to be one of these heavy hitters she said i need to have my life though i need to have and embrace what is my sacred duty. And by doing so, she became worshipped in every single home. She was a goddess of fire. She was the goddess of the hearth, right? So as the goddess of the hearth, not the goddess of fire, but the goddess of the hearth, she was the goddess of every single, of the center of every single home in Greek and Roman times. So that is astounding. And that's what we're, we're going to be embracing here. The sense of by embracing me, which might be less than what people think I should be, but by embracing me, I embrace the center of my light and I embrace the warmth within my heart, within my house, within myself. It moves us to, oh goodness, I'm so sorry. It moves us to our subconscious energy to be mindful of, and that's justice. Now, we can start to get really hard on ourselves, thinking this needs to be just and that needs to be just, and all of a sudden we're drawn into all this drama that we don't have any control over. Be mindful of that, because that's, that's a really big thing because of fear mongling that's coming forward, you know, that's a really big thing that can be coming into play. What we also have to be mindful of here is being discerning. There's going to be so many times during this time frame for us that we're going to think, oh, I just have to be nice to everybody. I just have to do right by everybody because then I will be just, then I will be fair. And what Spirit's saying here is be discerning with the energy that you are connecting with because you're not going to connect with everybody. You're not going to like everybody. You know, not everybody is going to jive with you and that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, saying it and understanding it are two totally different things because we can think that, oh, I just have to give more and more. And if I was just, just, if I was just fair, it's like, no, be kind to you. It moves us to our subconscious chakra energy. And this is psychic development, third eye chakra. Pisces, you have this ability already. As a water sign energy, you're more inclined towards the psychic, towards the the mystical than others. So here, as you embrace this, and as you find yourself embracing your instincts, embracing what you desire, opening up the door, that's when the change starts coming in. And you start to see your path moving more, moving in a way that you hadn't anticipated, you hadn't expected. So do be mindful there. And also be aware that it's going to lead you forward in such a way that it's going to be exciting and exhilarating, but it can be overwhelming. So we might need to say to spirit, you know, hold on, you know, I can't take all that in right now. Our subconscious rooted message is the world. The world is opening to us. We're finding the place that we stand within the world, the passion that we have within the world. And it's not that we all have to be movie stars or rock stars or, you know, household names. A lot of times it feels like we get this wrong. We have to be who we are. We have to embrace our passion and our love and what we excel at. If that's making cupcakes and, and baking, then make cupcakes. And if it's not, you know, opening, a, opening up your own bakery, it's making cupcakes for your loved ones and connecting and laughing and having a great time. This is what we need in the world. We need more of this connection. We need more of this caring. And as we find our place in the world, we start to find what brings us true, true happiness. We start to go out. We start to, you know, embrace a bit of an adventure, you know, embracing our voice, embracing what we desire. And the world opens to us. We open to us. It moves us to our inner selves. And that is the three of earth. We're finding a balance here. The live horses with the, with the one carved in, in the grass, you know, or set in the grass some way. I don't know exactly how that horse was made. And I do know it's in England. But what we have here is 
the three of pentacles, all of us coming together, working together, but also the sense of our child self and our adult self and our mature self, our wisdom self coming forward and understanding these different aspects of our lives and honoring the fact that we are moving and need to be embracing the present, but also embracing the lessons that we have learned and the understanding that we have had that we have and the the power that guides us the the way the heart moves us forward it brings us wealth it brings us wealth of self and it brings us wealth of of understanding it moves us then to our subconscious emotional message which is the high priestess and i love that we have the magician you know here and the high priestess they go together beautifully but in the same deck we have the card of the Hierophant, and in an early form of the tarot, the high priestess was known as Pope Joan. Not, not Pope Joan, the female Pope, which was Pope Joan. Now, whether you believe in Pope Joan or not, that's irrelevant. What we have here is kind of the feminine and masculine side of the same coin. We have a person who is more noticeable, who is seen more, who is, hasn't been hidden away in shadows. And then we have the person who has been hidden away in shadows, but is still powerful, insightful, and has seen as much as he has seen. So this is going to be a very powerful time for us. It's going to be a very instinctual time for us. It's going to be a very creative time for us. So if we are creative, utilize this time really, really well because, and get out of our own heads because we're, we can excel. We can really see ourselves flying forward with the high priestess. There's also a sense here of like the Oracle of Delphi. There's a sense of a lot coming to us that we might not be able to make sense of, but make sense as we live, as we develop, as we grow, as we see with the high priestess. Also, we're having the veil lifted from our eyes. We're starting to see things a lot more clearly, a lot more insightfully, a lot more passionately. And we're also going to start to see people for who they truly are, not who necessarily we want them to be, which can be upsetting because we can have a bubble burst, but it's also going to be rather gratifying. It's going to be like, oh, okay, I see you. And you know, that first initial instinct that I got about you, that was right. Like, okay, validation is going to be good. And then our subconscious public arena self is the three of wands. Now this is freedom. This is being able to explore. This is an adventure. This is being able to move forward. This could be, you know, going on a trip. This could also be that we're starting to see that the world is more than what we thought it was. Like our world can be more than what we had originally thought we could have. And so that starts to open up doors, but we're also not afraid to dream. We're not afraid to try something new. We can think, you know, the worst that can happen is that I fail. And that's not a bad thing. It's an experience gained and it's a, it's a determination, you know, had or a dream had that gets to live. And so that's going to be a really good thing. That's going to be a really powerful thing for us. The sense of freedom, the sense of discovery, the sense of becoming. Okay. All right, Pisces. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power and the mysticism, even with the shaman, like we have the high priestess, here we have the, the Hierophant, the, the Magician, and the Shaman. We have such mystical, beautiful energy coming our way. Don't, don't let it pass you by. All right. All right, Pisces. Again, I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. So let's end this reading with meditation, clearing away our negative energy, raising our positive energy. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Pisces. 